and this is what I genuinely frustrates me so much about the black community. You want to ignore all the really big issues that we should be talking about, okay? Oh. We all know what's going on in our communities. We just had Go. another rapper that was gunned down. We know Go. about black on black crime. We know about abortion. We know about the education system. We know about Antifa, which is the closest thing that I've seen to white supremacy since I've been alive, is Antifa, which is the modern day KKK. So, so I agree with you on all of those. That show up. I agree. Okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we will be reacting to Charlie's Cake and Candice Owen destroyed race beta with victim complex. Guys, let's get straight into dust. Well, um, I got a question for Candice. You said America wasn't a racist country. I never said that. You can't find wait, a single... Wait, you said America isn't a racist country, right? I, oh, 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 America is not a racist country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did say that. You're right. All right. <laughs> so, um... Got me. All right, I look at, um... One example, like, inner city gangs, right? If you look at, like, inner city gangs, they were really, like, persecuted 100% by police departments and the government. What did America do to end the ideology or the practice of the KKK at Okay, all? so let's, let's, let's dial this back to end the practice of the KKK. I want to start with saying to you, how many, how many, what percentage of black Americans, homicides, black homicides are committed by white people? That's just like me saying how much percent of homicides. It's like you guys that for any. No, I'm just asking a question. I'm not. There's, I'm not like. I'm not really, trying to walk you into a trap. I don't really study statistics because statistics. You could look at any race and look at numbers of killings and murder. So. Would it be fair if I said that black people are racist towards black people right now? Would that be fair? Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody's a little racist. I'm do, not do you lie. think? Do you think that we're racist towards each other? I wouldn't say racist. I just, I, I'm up, I, I, I find I, I it that, I, the hyper focusing yeah. on the KKK, which killed thousands of black Americans. I would say that America conditioned, America kind of conditioned, like, if you say black people are racist, that came from America's history. That's just what. What? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I say if you think, if you ask, you ask me if you think we are racist to each other. Yeah. I, I don't think so, but if we were. That's okay, because we're, we're killing ourselves, just so you know. Like, we're, we're at a I way mean, say, say faster... Race, say I'm every just race saying, is killing themselves. At a way faster and higher rate than any person in terms of white supremacy could ever do it. And if another organization that's doing it faster, you want to talk about the KKK, they killed thousands of blacks. Planned Parenthood has killed millions, 19 million. So nobody's having a conversation about that. <laughs> the black... And this is important. This is important because the media gets us obsessed with this idea of white supremacy and the history of the KKK. Thousands of blacks were killed by the KKK. And, and by the way, so were white Republicans and we were killed by white Democrats, which is why I'm adamantly opposed to Democrats. But nobody wants to have a conversation about what's really killing black America. But uh, number but, one... But black males are probably the most people in prison. So you can't say nothing's being done about it. Oh, it well, first and, for, first and foremost, what are they locking us up for? Are they locking us up because we're black? No, you just said we commit the most crimes and No, no, murder. no, no, but I'm asking you a question. Are they locking us up because we're black? I never said that. I never said that. Oh, okay, so I'm just, I'm just saying to you that the reason why we, we're, we're locked up the most is because we're committing the most crimes. We have to fix our communities. It's a real conversation that black Americans need to have, and I try to do that with the Blexit movement when I target our communities to have these conversations. The idea that white supremacy is a thing that's stopping black America is a complete and utter myth. And until we're, that, until we're willing either, to have... Though. I never said that either. I just whoa, whoa, whoa. She's not I'm saying not you said I'm that. I'm not She's saying you did. I haven't accused you of saying anything. I'm just saying what I'm actually saying. That's, right. That's it, okay? The number one issue facing our community is father absence. Father absence, I okay? I disagree, but okay. Excuse me? I disagree, but okay. Okay, okay. well, you, want, you said you, you brought up the prisons, right? If you grow up without a father in the home, you're 20 times more likely to end up behind bars. You want to know who I got that from? President Barack Obama. He talk, talk about the stats of what it does when you destroy the black family. The, is the destruction another, of the black have, family, have, um, if you want to talk... Oh, wait, I'm not done. The destruction of the black family happened because of Democrats and what they did in the 1960s. I agree, I agree. LBJ and his great society act in the welfare system. We can talk about all of those things. The very last thing we should be talking about, if I had to make a list of 100 things that's really screwing up the black community, white supremacy wouldn't make the list. But I wasn't even asking about the black community. I was just saying, you said America wasn't a racist nation. It's not. <laughs> they, it's not. All right, so yeah. look. It's not the today. Black, the Black Panthers were all locked up and killed by the government. Are, are the Black Panthers here today? Well, I, I, I'm saying the KKK has been around for since how long, and what has the government done for anything? To well, the you think the KKK is alive KKK? today? Yes, of course. Oh, oh my gosh! Okay, well, well, okay, well, find me one. Wait, wait, I want to meet one. You're debate. saying the KKK doesn't exist? Now we have a debate. At all. Hey, hey, wait! Now we have a debate. So I'm, have I'm, you ever I'm, met I'm, one? I'm asking you to say more about the KKK. Doesn't exist at all. What happened? I'm going to ask you a question. What did the government do to erase them? What did the government do to erase the KKK? 
How can you say that? I, don't you exist? have to slow down. I can't understand what you're saying. What did you That's say? That's crazy to me. How, but how can you say the KKK does not exist? Today? Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. Where are they? What do you What's, mean? Where are they? they where can, do they meet? They could be judges. I just thought this is a really big story, and CNN should cover it. Where is the KKK? It's literally an ideology. No, can you name a leader? Can you name a gathering point? Anything? Who's the leader? Where are they meeting? In what country? In what city? Where? I'm not going nowhere near where Because they, are. they aren't. Because They're... they don't. They literally live in the media's head. I've never, have you ever seen a KKK member in a hood? I'm asking you a serious question. So you're saying the KKK does not exist? All right, come down. No, 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 come down, come down. I, 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 I'm dying to see this because I have asked every journalist that brings this up since Charlottesville to tell okay, me where the KKK meets. So, in Houston, Texas, there was an event through, a, predom through a predominantly black neighborhood known as Acres Homes that was protected by the police and that was, they were escorted through a black community. So that's the issue. That, so they do exist, they are there. They're and they're protected by the police. Yes. Protected. Okay, okay, so I'm, I'm asking you a serious question. As a black American, you fear the, uh, you fear the KKK. I don't fear any, I don't fear any. Okay, okay so, uh, so, so you that's saw... Not, that's where I agree with you. Look, I am from one well, parish... No, 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 no. Of... We're, not doing, we're not doing three on one. You can, you can have a time, you can have a time when you get to the mic. I'm asking you a serious question. Of all of the things that is going on in the black community, you cannot look me in the face and tell me that you really think that the rise of the KKK is a real thing. But I won't I'm not believe that. At the, I'm looking at America, not really the black community. Like, and I'm, I'm another, shocked, I'm shocked discussion. to hear, you said you've never seen a KKK member. You said that there was one in Texas. What, what year was it? Um, it was around the time, around 2008, just before. 2000 and what? I graduated high school in 2008 in Acres Homes from Carver. And they were walking yeah. down the street in hoods. Yeah, that was an event. There. It was a Georgia, they huge. They still have events. Well, I, I think, I think we're losing Good. KKK. Yeah, well, well, let's not lose the focus. Yeah, that's fine. I, I will definitely look it up. I will look up the Texas event, the KKK walk. But the point that I was making, maybe, maybe they did meet once, however, 10 years ago in your, in your town. And I'll definitely look into it because I always want to educate myself. But the point is, is that neither of you can look me in the face and tell me that you think that the KKK is a real threat to the black community. Well, it's, how, it's just not how true. How when they could be a judge or a oh. doctor or a, you know no, what but, but the issue here is how, no one's denying that there are individual racists, racists in this country. In our country. I said America a is judge. not a racist country. So you know how, it's not. How, if they're not a racist country, how have they done nothing to, to persecute KKK members? Like what? David Duke. David Duke is a known KKK. But, yes, so David either. Duke endorsed a Democrat running for president this okay, cycle. I, I just have to say that. Why is, he not, why is he not in prison? What, well, what did he say? Like, David, David hear him. Duke Can you put is the so, mic closer to him? I, I do have to say, though, can't hear him. it's so marginalized, it's so minimal, the overemphasis, overconversation, over over even focus, talk about it. these I mean, people it are losers, weird. these people have no life, these people are not in mainstream society, these people are not what people and try to make that. it seem. And this is why I say, when, I, when you heard me say earlier that I hate when us, who are, we are the most privileged black people in the entire world, right? We are, plain and simple. The most Fox. privileged black people in the entire Fox. world live in America today. It, it, it's insulting to me because when my grandfather used to tell me the stories about the real KKK, the ones that would come on horseback and shoot into his home in Fayetteville, North Carolina, North Carolina, and do you want to know what my grandfather says about them? He says, and when we, we used to come around, my dad used to shoot back at them boys. Such an empowering thing when he talks about them. He talks about them like they were children. He tells me stories about when the, when the black mothers would come out and take the hoods off and yell at them and say, is that you, Peter, or whatever their names were? And then when you come up and you say it like, what are we going to do with the KKK members? You're not afraid of them. I know you're not afraid of the KKK members. I'm not afraid of them. You're not. You're not. So why are we talking about them? Why are you, give, America, why are you even giving them the America air or the conversation because you once saw them 10 years ago? All America did was change laws and they, all they did was have to change their, change their methods. They could have just changed but what, their methods. But what did they do? Did they, did they shoot and kill? I generally am trying to understand where are the KK, are, are they killing black people? Because if they are, they definitely should be prosecuted. So, laws against murder. I, I think that the issue, the thing he's trying to bring forward is that when you look at the historical treatment of organizations or groups of people of color, whether it's Black Lives Movement, or Black Panther and so on, the moment that they were demonized, they were listed as terrorist organizations. Why has it never been that the Ku Klux Klan was demonized or listed as a terrorist organization? They were when never the, demonized? The Ku Klux Klan? By the government? Never. Has the, has the government because ever listed the them? they were government. They were Democrats. Well, yeah, this is not true. I, I, the I don't, the I, Oklahoma I, City bombing was, so, was, look, the I, Oklahoma City bombing was categorized as a terrorist act, so you're incorrect there. So, the Oklahoma Fort Hood City Massacre was terrorist. I was a common engineer. I was trained by some of the same people who knew the guy. So I understand. So let me ask you a question. Was, was the Waco complex considered a terrorist organization by the FBI, yes or no? Who? The Branch Davidians. Uh, it should be. Oh, but they were white. You said that never happened against white supremacist organizations. No, I said the Ku Klux Klan. 
I'm no, talking it, about it, the it, clan. It is, a, it is a similar type organization. The branch the Davidians, clan, the branch clan, Davidians clan were misinterpreted for the, almost of, the entirety of America. The branch Why Davidians has it never been seen as a terrorist organization. Guys, That's it. guys, well, I'm going to wrap this up because I, if, I, if I genuinely thought that you thought the KKK was alive and well, we'd have a full long conversation about this. What we're talking about here is that you want to ignore, and, I, and this is what I genuinely frustrates me so much about the black community. You want to ignore all the really big issues that we should be talking about. Okay, oh. we all know what's going on in our communities. We just had so. another rapper that was gunned down. We know so. about black on black crime. We know about abortion. We know about the education system. We know about Antifa, which is the closest thing that I've seen to white supremacy since I've been alive, is Antifa, which is the modern day KKK. So, so I agree with you on all of those. That show up. I agree. Okay? And I agree. Those are the but instead, you want to talk about something that you have to t- pull your memory from 10 years ago Can when I ask you were walking down the street in Texas. What do you think started black on black crime? It wasn't. It hasn't always been a big problem, is what you're talking about. What do you think? Started? I already told you what I thought. What father, father, with? father absence started black on black crime. And what started, I already told you that. What started the biggest father absence in America in the black community? Lyndon Baines Johnson in 19 in 1964. Was, that, was he Democrats. not American government? That's what I'm saying. And, 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 and let's do a present. Look, and what I'm saying is, I don't, I don't Who really do care. I, I don't care about Democrats and Republicans. Who is encouraging father absence? Democrats, Democrats and Republicans are the same. Ameri- it's the same government. That's what that's what y'all don't see. Yeah, like I'm neither. I'm neither. Political parties are literally to divide us because it's. No. No, 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 no. Same, I think you and government. I agree on the fact that there are problems. What we disagree with is that I am telling you that the left started it, the Democrats started it, and the Democrats are still perpetuating it. And the way that they're able to perpetuate it is by getting you sent up here and asking me a ridiculous question about the damn KKK when we should be talking about father absence and abortion and black on black crime. Thank you for your question. So you're saying. Whoa. Yeah, this was intense, interesting, funny, and a lot of emotional when you Like, I honestly believe that what we the black need is actually we need our culture back and that's that's fact. Like more like we, we lost especially black in the United States. Especially black in the West, like they've lost that touch. Like more like they don't know how it feels like like see we black are different. I will be honest. We are trained different, we process differently and there's some things a white person can do, you really wouldn't see a black person doing it. Like we are wired differently and it's based on our cultural background. And it seems that most black ones will now start acting like white. And it seems that it, it won't just work. Like, I believe that everyone has something that works for them. And to be honest, we actually need to put fathers back home. Because honestly, a woman can say she trained her child. My mom trained, we are, we are seven siblings. I have seven siblings. And my mom was like, my dad traveled to Hudson and stuff like that, but my mom was someone that was mainly with us and I, I can fully say that I don't have any of my secret that drink or smoke or do anything like that. We we turned out fine and it's amazing. But my mom was very very strict. You're not allowed to leave the door. Like you can't go out there in the house. You're learning. You are playing games. Like she she made sure that we felt home. We felt at home. Like we felt love. She provided what we needed, take us to school and stuff like that. But like she really avoided us from making friends. Let's say, like, it is not school you're not making friends from like around your surrounds, like stay in those, watch film, play with your siblings. Like that's it. I just feel that even if my dad was not really around at that point, let's see, like five, six years. But like my mom actually did a great job and I'll I'll give it to her. But it's not easy for you to be husband and take care of seven children. Is not easy. I, I love the fact that we all turn that way. But back to this, I honestly believe that people are supposed to like focus on what is actually wrong with black people in the West. Because like, let's be honest, this black people no, is in the West. Because watch Netflix movie right now, you see most black people doing shit, like gay stuff. This, these are things that you can't bring to Africa. I'm not saying that not gays in Africa, but like. You hide and do some stupid things like that. You, you are not just confident about yourself that you come out in the street kissing. No. See, you won't be killed, but like, when that don't beat in you, <laughs> you come back to like your senses, like the way God created you. You come back to that. And I honestly believe that black people should actually remember their words. If you watch any African movie about black outside when you see that their child started misbehaving they send them back home like for them to understand that you are not really this kind of people i see america have a culture that works for them 
and blacks you can't just expect their culture to work for you and that's just the thing and i also believe that black women should be taught a lot you feel like it's good to be a prostitute is just something very stupid but i saw a black woman and she was 21 her body count was 92 i nearly cried at it because i don't understand the reason why a woman will have one of anybody at all i'm not even saying a woman anybody else will have more than five body count like if you have intentions of getting married i don't see a reason why you should have more than five I, I, I. Guys, this is the live show. Go to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys.